Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? I'm ready for the event. ESPN, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. This is Kelsey Riggs and EJ Manuel with ESPN. How do you hear me? Hey, Kelsey and EJ. I have you loud and clear. How you doing? This is Kelsey Riggs and EJ Manuel with ESPN. How do you hear me? Hey, Kelsey and EJ, I have you loud and clear. Station, this is Kelsey Riggs and EJ Manuel with ESPN. How do you hear me? Hey, Kelsey, I have you loud and clear. Oh, amazing. Shane, thank you so much for the time. It's so good to, to have this opportunity. We are so excited. And there's a lot we want to dive into with, with Georgia Tech and sports and everything you've seen. But I've got to start off with just the basics. I'm sure this is a dream that you had as a kid, and a lot of kids out there dream to one day be able to do this, to actually be in space for the third time and see these dreams come true. What's that like for you? Yeah, it is a dream come true for sure. Uh, something I wanted to do my whole life. I've been very blessed to do it a few times now. And uh, my amazing crew is kind of coming behind the camera now and making me laugh. But it's awesome being up here with them, and we're having a great time together. All right, well, Shane, I'm obviously the football guy. And I have to ask, how do you plan on keeping up with Georgia Tech's football season early in the season? We're talking September because we know you're coming back in October. Yeah, EJ, I got a ball here for you from the NFL, so uh, I can I can probably throw this one farther than you because it's in space. But uh... <laughs> yeah, now we have we have pretty good connectivity up here, so I can stay in touch, and I can uh, we can watch games on the weekends. We get one live channel that we can put up uh, kind of in our common area. And then I get uh, ESPN Sports Center sent up every day, so that's pretty nice to see. We're, they're usually a day behind, so uh, I try not to uh, look at my ESPN app while I'm up here uh, and get the kind of let the cat out of the bag and just kind of watch Sports Center and just be a day behind. I um, mean, Shane, that is, I'm sure, just an incredible place to, to watch any game. Um, we understand you're also a big baseball fan. I've been following the Twitter feed. We see all the photos. We were just in Omaha. I mean, what's it like having that bird's eye view? You're seeing, um, you know, these different views of stadiums and all. What's it like for you? Yeah, being a huge sports fan myself, um, doesn't really matter what the uh, sport is. Uh, but seeing stadiums and ballparks from th this perspective is very special, whether it's, you know, in the U.S. or overseas. So uh, I'm glad you guys got to go to Omaha. It sounded like it was a pretty uh, amazing comeback by Mississippi State last night. But uh, what, a, what a series, and I'm glad Vanderbilt had a great showing there as well. Yeah, I agree, Shane. So I got to put you on the spot, man. If Army and Georgia Tech are playing each other in a bowl game, which team are you rooting for? Oh, yeah, you are putting me on the spot there, but uh, I'd have to cheer for Army, I think, in that case. But uh, in both cases, I'd be wearing black and gold. So one of my crewmates is another ACC fan here, uh, Jordan fan. Who's not a Jordan fan, but Thomas Pesquet from France just wanted to say hello. Oh, amazing. We appreciate that. Uh, take us through just a little bit of your experience, Shane. Like, what is a day like there in space? 
Yeah, thanks, Kelsey, for the question. Most of our time is spent doing science and research that uh, come from researchers all around the world, so it's really exciting for us to be part of that. And, uh, you know, I'd say about half of our days are spent doing that. We do two, hour, two hours of exercise every day, and that helps us maintain our bone density and bone mass. Otherwise, that just deteriorates while you're in space. Um, the other 25 or so percent is just spent doing maintenance. Um, this is a, a big orbiting laboratory with a lot of different modules, and it's about 20 years old now, so things break, and we have to fix them or, or do maintenance on them to prevent them from breaking. So that's our normal day. It's usually uh, we get up about 6 a.m., and we go start working about 7.30 a.m., and we work till 7.30 p.m. every day, 12-hour workday, and, uh, and then we go to bed about 10 at night. So plan on about an eight-hour sleep period. It's amazing, Shane. So what are you most proud of, man? I mean, considering all the things you've already accomplished and now currently accomplishing and you'll continue to accomplish in the rest of your career uh, and also just in your personal life. So what, do you, what would you say you're most proud of that you've done thus far? Yeah, thanks for that question. I'll get that very often. But uh, certainly the thing I'm most proud of is my three children. Uh, my wife and I have, um, you know, we've, we've thought we've done a good job, and we really have. Uh, we have twin, twin daughters that are 23 and a son that's 21, and super proud of them. Uh, two of the girl, my girls are in grad school, and our son's at West Point, uh, a rising senior at West Point on the golf team. So uh, we're super proud of all of them, and to me that's my biggest accomplishment for sure. That's incredible. I was going to ask you what you missed the most, but I think you just answered it right there with that answer. Food-wise, we're always curious, what's the food like? Is there anything that when you get home, that's the first thing you're going to eat and be happy to be back here? Yeah, the food's actually gotten pretty good. There's a, a big variety up here, which is really the key, just to have something different when you're up here for such a long time like we are, six months. So. Uh, when I get home, what we don't get a lot of is, you know, things that are crunchy like salads and chips and things like that. So most of us crave those when we get home for sure. Uh, a nice pizza would be good too, something like that, or a steak. But uh, we have pretty good food up here. And then uh, my crewmates, we have crewmates from Russia, from Japan, and France up here. So we get some really good food from their countries to share as well. Now, Shane, I read that you're a big-time golfer and a big-time golfer fan, and you're trying to get some pictures and images of some courses. So if there's one or two courses that you have to get an image of while you're up there in space, which ones would you say? I've been fortunate uh, in this couple of months so far to get some really um, pick, picks of some really good courses, and uh, I'm just kind of making my collection now. I'm still waiting on Augusta National. I have not, we haven't had a good pass over Augusta yet this time, but I got a few more months to get that. I definitely want to get Augusta. I got it on my last flight, but uh, looking forward to getting a better view this time, and that is certainly number one on my bucket list. Shane, you were a part of a baseball team that accomplished great things, and now you're a part of a different team being there. We can see the camaraderie with everybody. How much fun is it to just be a part of this select group that gets to, you know, have this uninterrupted time together? I'm sure sometimes maybe it's not good. You'd like a little time to yourself, but how much do you enjoy it? Now, nah, that is certainly the thing that makes these missions and these long-duration missions is the crew. Um, and so we have seven of us up here now, and we really all enjoy each other, which is a benefit. It doesn't always happen, but we're certainly glad to have this crew together. We work well together. We play well together. We have fun together around the, the dinner table in the evenings. Uh, but we have a bigger team than that. The mission control teams um, all around the world that support us every day are part of our team as well, including our families and friends. Um, so our team is really massive. We're very honored and blessed to be the ones up here in space doing some great work for all of humankind, uh, which is amazing to us. Um, but really one of the heroes of this uh, are really all the mission control team people that work um, day in and day out for us doing shift work and uh, help us do great things up here. Amazing. Now, Shane, what advice would you give a young student athlete, whether it's a young man or a young woman, uh, that obviously is doing their best to try to make it to the pro ranks and whatever sport that it is that they play, but they may not make it? What advice would you give them as far as, you know, trying to, you know, prepare for a career outside of their sport? Yeah, so, I mean, number one for me when I talk to, to young people, it's uh, find things that you're passionate about. So for those kind of people you're talking about, sports is certainly one of the things they're passionate about, but they're probably passionate about something else as well. 
Um, and so just keep your doors open. Don't close doors. Um, your athletic career can be over in a day just due to an injury or something, which is, you know, happens way too often, of course. So it's nice to have a backup plan and getting a great education at a university um, before you kind of head into that is obviously a great first step um, to have a degree. And then uh, hopefully that's in something that you really like and you're really passionate about because then you're going to try harder. You're going to dive deeper into it. You're going to invest yourself into that activity, whatever it is. And then you're going to go out in, in, in the real world if you're not an athlete and uh, work somewhere and do some great things for society. Sorry, Shane, I lost you there for a second. I, I just wanted to ask you about, you've got the ball floating around. Do we have any, any tricks that we can see? Best zero gravity trick. Zero gravity, we see the balls floating. I got a couple of jerseys I'll float over to you too. Uh, Georgia <laughs> Tech sent me this awesome jersey here. And, uh, it's got my college number on it with our crew and the name tag, that's pretty awesome. That's cool. And uh, here comes uh, Army jersey. Army sent me a jersey as well up here, so that's pretty cool. Awesome, man. And uh, we got soccer balls. We got all kind of balls up here, so whatever you want. Hopefully you're seeing some microgravity going on. Very cool. Now, Shane, I wanted to ask you, when you're actually launching and, you know, pretty much taking off from Earth to go into orbit up in space, what is that feeling like? Is it, I would assume it's anxious, probably a lot of, you know, maybe nerves and just excitement. So what is that feeling like for you, and considering you've done it multiple times? Yeah, I tell you, it's, it's certainly an incredible experience, and I, and I wish more people could have it because it is fantastic. Uh, you know, it is a, like you mentioned, it can be a tense, kind of a nervous time. I've been really blessed all three of my launches. Um, I've been very calm, very relaxed. I knew I had a huge team, support team behind me, a lot of folks praying for me, which was um, very powerful to me, and I was super calm. And I, you know, when these engines lit on the last time we launched on the SpaceX rocket a few months ago, it was unbelievable when those engines lit. Um, and then we felt the power underneath us. We all started kind of laughing and giggling because it was going to be awesome. And then pure acceleration from there for about the next eight and a half to nine minutes until we got into orbit. It was pretty fantastic. I cannot imagine what that feels like. You mentioned something there, you know, that you, you wish this was an experience that more people could have, and it sounds like they will shortly. What are your thoughts on that? What should people know that, that are wanting to go to space? Is it just I, I'm out of this world, once in a lifetime? How many cliches can I think of? Yeah, you know, it looks like the space is opening up to, I would say, civilians, uh, not just, you know, not just professional astronauts, which is pretty fantastic. Um, towards the end of this year, we're going to launch, um, SpaceX is going to launch four people um, on a mission called Inspiration4 for a couple days into orbit. So that'll kind of be the thing that opens the door for future um, civilians and normal folks to get a chance to come to space for at least a few days. So I think it's pretty great. Shane, what do you do for your mental health, man? How do you kind of stay conditioned up there to just pretty much be prepared, you know, to do your job every day? What's that like, and how do you kind of keep your mind locked in on what you have to do? Yeah, we do a lot of training on the ground uh, to kind of get us ready for that. We do um, a lot of things that where we have to have self-care, first of all, and then team care because we're in close quarters with a lot of other people up here. Um, you got to be cognizant of what's going on. You got to be aware if somebody's having a good day, bad day, those kind of things. And so we get trained a lot on the ground and then put it into practice when we get up here. And that really helps us all. Uh, we have things like, uh, like I mentioned, sports to watch on TV for me is a big thing. That kind of helps me relax and get away from kind of the day-to-day, -day, um, everyday grind. Uh, but, you know, we're in space, so it's pretty crazy and pretty awesome to be doing things like that. But all that helps, helps mentally, helps us mentally. When you get to talk to your families, we have a system, a phone system we can call home every day, which is great. Uh, we get to video conference once a week with our families. And so all those things um, definitely help our mental um, space up here. And then we as a team up here watch each other as well. So we want to make sure um, if we're seeing changes in different people's personalities or something's not going right that we chat with them or or just you know, you kind of self-admit, hey, I didn't sleep well last night or hey, this is going on at home. I need you to watch me while I'm doing this today. So we really take care of each other. Sounds like an incredible team for sure. Uh, Shane, take us back to Georgia Tech. When you were there, favorite memories, what was it like being in Atlanta? 
Well, I'm from Atlanta originally as well, so it was just great to go back home. The Army actually sent me to graduate school, so it was on their dime and uh, getting my full salary. So it was a pretty sweet deal going to Georgia Tech. I got there right after the 1996 Olympics, um, which ended in you know late August, and I showed up in September. So I got to reap the benefits of all the, the Olympic Village and all the new facilities that have been in place for the Olympics. So that was incredible. Uh, and then just, you know, being there as a student, uh, getting a great engineering degree and getting to watch some incredible sports. For me, I was kind of like, wow, this is what real college is like. So going to West Point, I didn't get the full college experience, but uh, I felt going to graduate school at Georgia Tech kind of closed that loop. Yeah, definitely. Now, Shane, my favorite Yellow Jacket of all time was Calvin Johnson. We call him Megatron. Obviously, I had a chance to meet him when I was playing in the NFL. Uh, who would you say is your favorite Yellow Jacket of all time? Well, he's a good one. I got a chance to meet him at a few events I did after my last fight, so he's hard He's hard to bet against. But uh, when I was a kid growing up in Atlanta, uh, Georgia Tech basketball team was really good, and, and Mark Price was one of my, my heroes at the time. So great three-point shooter and uh, point guard for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. That's a great one. Uh, we have a lot of great coaches, too, at Georgia Tech. Do you have a relationship with any of them? I'm sure everybody is just so proud of you from there and, and wants to be in contact with you however they can. Yeah, Tech has been really awesome. Actually, I just talked last night with the athletic director and the baseball coach, uh, Jim Terry, who's a, a big supporter of Georgia Tech Athletics and, uh, and a couple of the baseball players. So that was a real thrill for me to have a video conference with them uh, and just see their support and just see, you know, as I kind of toured them around the space station, to see their eyes kind of light up and see how we live. I think it's pretty special both ways. Now, Shane, I wanted to ask you another football question. Talk about us how excited you are for Coach Collins to come into his third year. Uh, I think he's doing an excellent job of recruiting and obviously getting his players to buy into what they're teaching over there in Georgia Tech. So how excited are you for now? Are, are you for Georgia Tech's football team going into year three? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be a good year. You know, like you said, the coach has been doing a great job just creating kind of the climate that he wants. Uh, and that's going to show, you know, usually around the third year that kind of comes out. So it's going to be great to see them compete this year. Um, they've got a great team going on. You know, they had a good team last year, obviously, a little young, but uh, they've got more experience now and they're ready to go. So looking forward to that. And uh, to add on to that, looking forward to Army having another great year as well. Shane, we don't have a lot of time left. This is kind of a random question, but it is something that we ask all of our guests that come here on In Play. Uh, I guess we could say not just early morning flights, maybe early morning missions out to space. You're going to get apple juice or are you going to get orange juice on the plane? Those are the only two options. Are you an apple juice guy or an orange juice guy? Apple juice. Smart man. Smart man. Big fan, Shane. I love that. I'm an apple juice guy myself, bro, so I'm happy you chose that one. <laughs> Shane, we just want to say thank you so much for the time. This is incredible. Such an incredible opportunity to be able to speak with you, to talk Georgia Tech, to talk space, all of the things. Thanks for showing us all the cool tricks, too, and uh, you guys be safe up there. Thanks, Shane. Best Thanks a lot. Thank Hopefully you, we'll man. meet you guys when I get back home. Take care. We would love that. Thanks so much. Yes, sir. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. Thank you to all participants from ESPN. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.